So if you've been following this channel for a while, you might know that I started with quadcopters and I've done a lot of quadcopter reviews, but I've been on a bit of a break because I wanted to try out some other things and I'm actually going back to quadcopters because of the Mavic Mini and some new cool ga gadgets that came out and I'm doing that by first acquiring this charger from ISDT. Basically what we are looking at is the D2 and the D2 is a really interesting charger. It can charge two devices at the same time. It has a lot of power. We are talking about 200 watts that can basically enable you to charge up batteries, LiPo batteries from 1S to 6S. And if you are like me and you have a lot of these quadcopters laying around, whether it's toy quadcopters or racing quadcopters, you probably have a ton of batteries. So I want to stop having that and I'm getting this to replace them all. So let's begin. So how are you doing my friends? I'm Rotodil and welcome to the channel. If you want to see some cool gadget reviews just like this one, you might want to click on that red subscribe button down below because then you'll see my future gadget reviews. I have some really cool stuff coming up, including the new line of Xiaomi uh, cameras. So if you want to see that and more, you want to subscribe. But today we are with D2 and I made a really quick unboxing. Basically what you get in the box is the D2 charger, a bunch of stickers, the power cable, and that's about it. You also get a, sc a screen protector, by the way, which I messed up. Uh, and that really pisses me off because for me it's way too stressful to put uh, these kinds of things, but I did it anyway. So let's talk about the D2 charger. I already mentioned that you get a lot of power with it, around 200 watts. That basically enables you to charge up 6S batteries really fast if you need to do so. But as always, you really want to be careful when you are talking about the type of chargers that you are using to charge up LiPo batteries. And there are a lot of videos already on YouTube telling you what to do or what not. But for me, it was really important to buy a charger that's safe to use. And there are many functions on this charger that are way safer than on the charger that I usually get when I buy or get a new toy quadcopter. For example, there are four functions here that basically make this safer than other chargers. We have a SCP, OLP, OVP and o OTP protection systems over here and this is a bunch of labels for things you can look at the description to see what that basically means but whether it's temperature, voltage or many other parameters this device will know if something's going wrong. It also has a bunch of settings which will basically enable you to know when it finished charging. For example, you can actually set up if the beeps that the charger makes, and yeah, it makes beeps. That's one huge improvement over all the uh, toy chargers that I already have. Um, are going to be repetitive? Are they going to be a single beep? Whatever. So I have a lot of things that I really like about it, but like I, like I first mentioned, it's safer to use than what I had before. We also get the capability to truly charge them all. This, this charger supports the charging of 1S to 6S battery types, but you do need extra um, accessories or adapters. So I have a bunch of these, whether it's to charge up a 1S battery or to charge a 2S, 3S, and to charge anything else, I'll probably use the XT60 that's as you can see already on the charger. But the thing is, you really wanna be careful with these because these are parallel chargers and there's a lot of information on the internet letting you know that when you do use parallel chargers, you need to make sure that you are not messing around with the batteries and also some people don't advise to use them at all. I actually use them on the 1S because it's really easy to charge up a 1S battery and I have these uh, bags that are supposed to catch up a fire if something happens and I also have a fire extinguisher so I'm ready to deal with the consequences but if you can charge one by one or actually choose charge two batteries at a time not using parallel charging probably we're going to be the safest way to actually charge up your lipo batteries there are two things that I don't really like about this charger. The first thing is that it's freaking expensive, over $100 on most websites. And like always, I put links in the description of this video below where you can actually check out the pricing yourself. But the second thing is that this is not portable. It weighs around half a kilo. And as you can see, you use the power plug on it to get it connected. The thing that I'm actually don't, I'm not liking about this is that you already have 
different types of uh, battery charger that can basically used with, be used with an XT60. And then you can charge on the field, just make it like a bench charger or whatever, and use an XT, a huge XT60 battery to charge up your smaller batteries using a charger like this. But that's not gonna be an option here because as you can see, it's basically connected to the wall. So in terms of features, you get a really bright LCD IPS screen here that tells you all you need to know about your batteries, whether it's the single cell voltage on your batteries and also information about internal resistance and so on. So I really like the fact that I have so much information about my batteries because I didn't have that with my other chargers. So for me, this is basically going to be a professional charging station to charge up all my batteries instead of all the crappy and toy chargers that I've been using to charge up all my toy quadcopters. Another weird thing here is that you'll have the option to upgrade the firmware and to do that you'll basically need to use this plug over here. The weird thing here is that you don't get the cable in which you need to connect to um, update the firmware and the USB you are seeing here is an actually a USB charging port. So it's a two amp charging port, which you can use to charge up your mobile phone, for example, but you can't update the firmware using the USB. You have to use this plug with a proprietary cable, which I found was kind of weird and uh, kind of bummed out about it because I do know there's a new uh, firmware and it's not installed on my device. There's also another version for this, uh, for this charger. I basically got a 12 amp version. That's basically the capability of which I can charge with this uh, battery charger. There's also a 10 amp, which is an older one. So I'm putting links in the description below for this version, which is probably better. So for me, this is the perfect opportunity to switch to a more effective and safer way of charging most of my racing quad batteries or even my toy quad batteries. So the investment was definitely worth it. If you are like me and you have a bunch of uh, batteries laying around in these bags, I have so many of these, um, you might want to consider getting one of these, maybe this one, maybe even a cheaper model. I'm going to put two links in the video description below and you can choose yourself. I'm also putting links to my adapters, especially the 2S3S, which I think is what most of you guys will want to have if you're getting a charger like this. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe to see my future videos by clicking on the uh, red button down below or on this button. And also check out my other videos over here. And I have, like I said before, really cool gadgets coming up besides this one. I'll see you soon. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.